Hello everybody and welcome back to Unknown SMP and today we have big, big, big projects. This is probably my first like really big project of the season. Where am I going? My stuff's over this way. Um, yeah, it's it's slightly intimidating me, but last week we got all of our stuff to netherite. And part of the reason I did this is because I need a lot of netherite for some things. Um, so let me let me explain what we're doing here. First of all, today I want to like go through and do a bunch of the archaeology stuff because I've actually not done any of it before. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of bad. I generally only play modded or this, so you know, there's that. But also, I because I've never experienced archaeology before i really want to get every single armor trim on netherite armor is this going to cause me pain yes am i going to have to mine a lot of ancient debris yes am i going to have to mine a lot of diamonds yes am i going to have to do a lot of exploring also yes and here's the thing here's the thing this video will be a two-parter because while in this episode I'm going to be getting all the smithing templates and applying it to the armor, I will not be building the actual display building. We will have our little archaeology building, but if we come over this way, we have this mountain over here. And I have plans for all sorts of stuff over in that direction. But this particular area over here, I want to have just all sorts of like little things, you know, make... Make it feel alive and kind of connect this area and the industrial district a little bit, not too much. So over here on this hill, this is what I'm going to be calling Challenge Mountain or Champions Hill or something along those lines. I'm not really sure yet. And right here, I want to make a massive hall which will display all of our armor, and I want to give each and in every individual armor trim, like, you know, special decorations around it, and all sorts of stuff like that. But that will be coming in the next video, because I do not have the time to build all of that up, and then also get everything, and it, it'll just take too long. So, that's going to be next episode. But let's get started on what we're doing right now. So, if we come back on into our UFO... We can see my lovely old chalk box over here. My valuables box. Um, so first of all, I have a, obviously, tons of things in here. But the main thing to point out is all of this ancient debris. In between, kind of just like going around, I've been mining a ton of this stuff. Well, not mining. I've been getting, I've been TNT mining, right? And so we're almost halfway there. So the first thing we're going to do in this episode is finish getting the netherite. Now, I prepared some shulker boxes earlier, full of sand and gunpowder and all sorts of stuff like that, which we can use to craft up the TNT. That is an empty shulker box. So, with all of these shulker boxes, hopefully this will be enough to get us relatively close to it all. Uh, I, I'm not sure. We just kind of have to hope and pray. It, this is this is going to be one of the biggest projects I've ever done. But let me craft up all of this TNT, and then I might shove you guys into a little replay of me going and blowing up all of the ancient debris. So I'll be right back into that. I have not made any more progress, really, on the ancient debris, but, like, I am so tired of it. And I found, oh, I found a really, really, really bad spot. So what we are going... To do instead is we're going to just go and do some different archaeology things because otherwise I'm going to get really annoyed at mining all this ancient debris and then not want to continue mining it. Blackstone because I have some projects that need a lot of blackstone so there is that. Um, but yeah so let's oh, let's run on over to somewhere and we, we can get started with the archaeology stuff. Okay so I haven't actually gone anywhere yet so we are going to take a quick count of what armor trims we actually already have because we won't have to then go and get those ones so we already have the coast armor trim 
So let me tick that one off my list. We have the snout armor trim, the ribs armor trim, the eye armor trim, and the wild armor trim. Now that is good because these ones here, these last four, are honestly some of the more annoying ones to get because this is from a nether fortress, this is from a bastion, this is from a stronghold, this one here is from a jungle temple, I think. Why it's not on my list. Never mind, yes it is. Yeah, this is from a jungle temple. So they're kind of like good to have because they're annoying ones to get. But we have a lot more places we need to go because we need to go to an end city. We need to go to probably a lot of ancient cities to actually find it. We need to go to desert temples. We need to go to uh, woodland mansions. And we need to go to a pillar drought. And we also need to find a trail room. And the other thing that we are going to do is I want to try and get every single pottery shirt as well. So those are two big things. But what we're going to do right now is we're just going to jump over to the desert and we're going to go to a desert pyramid. And oh, that was weird. But we're going to jump over to a desert pyramid and we are going to just go and start our archaeology adventure. So let's do that right now. Okay, so we are here at the desert pyramid where if we come over here, yeah, here we go. So this is the little like archaeology area in here. So just going to clear out that bit there. So you can see we have our first suspicious sand. What are we getting? Pottery shirt first try. Let's go. Easy. You know, we are clearly just the greatest ever at the game. Um, but we do have to dig this area out. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before. I have never actually done any of the 1.20 stuff. Um. No, I broke one. That's really sad. Oh, well. Excuse me, Bunny. Do you mind? So here's another one. Just an emerald. A measly emerald. Great. But as I was saying, I've never actually done any of the, like, archaeology or really any of the 1.20 stuff. I just completely forgot about it, I'm going to be honest. Did I break another one? That's really sad. Anyway, let's mine these two out before I forget. What are we getting? Another pottery shirt? Is it going to be the same one? Or is it going to be a different one? It was the same one. Archer. Okay. What are we getting here? TNT. You know what? We love TNT. I broke another one. I... Okay. We need to be more careful. Okay. And this bunny needs to leave me alone. Because I don't want you here, bunny. I heard a husk. I don't like that. Okay. This looks like it's our last piece of suspicious sand. And it's another archer pottery shard. No, it is slightly different, I think. Okay. Get rid of that guy. Okay. So we've got the minor pottery shard as well. So if we go and check... If I check my list, I'm sorry, you guys can't see this, but I check up this here. So we've got the archer and we have got the miner. Okay. So we still have to get the prize, the skull and yeah, the prize and the skull ones from the desert pyramids. So let's go fly and find ourselves another desert pyramid or does it well? Cause we also have ones to get from desert wells as well so let's go do that now okay so i found the next pyramid which again has already been looted kind of mm, maybe the pressure plate wasn't removed so there might be an armor trim oh yes okay so we've got the dune armor trim that's good and a bunch of diamonds which is also really good all right let's make our way back up here. All right. Next up, we have to have a quick look for our archaeology area. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. What do we get from this one? Another powdery shard. What type is it? I think that's another archer. Yes. Okay. All right. Here's another one. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? That looks like a new one. Yes, okay, so we've got the prize shirt. That's good. I just broke one by accident and now I'm really sad. Okay, here's another one. What are we going to get? It's another pottery shirt. But is it going to be the right one? It's, yeah, it's just another miner. Okay. Oh, here's another one. And it's it's not even a shirt. It's just some gunpowder. Oh, there's two more over here as well. Let's see. 
that's some TNT, you know what, we love to see it. And over here, oh, we have a shirt, okay. Let's have a look. Oh, that just looks like prize again, unfortunately. All right, well, you know, it never hurts to have duplicates. Unfortunately, we did not get the skull pottery shirt from that one. So, that means back out to exploring for me. whoop de doo I have found ourselves a desert well, which was actually right next to the portal, but that's not the point. What did we get? A suspicious stew. I don't want to drink that, but I'm going to, because why not, you know? Oh, everything's okay. Well, I'm just like I am in real life now, blind. That's fine. Um, Is there normally more than just, like, oh, here's one more. All right. Give us a pottery shard. Or... Just more suspicious stew, I guess. Oh, jump boost. Okay. That wasn't that bad. Okay, I have found a thing. Um, however, I believe that there is a drown spawner here because I'll, I'll, I'll step outside. Oh. Let me go outside really quickly. Um, That is an unreasonable amount of drowns. And it feels like every time I kill one drowned, eight more come in its place. So there's a spawner somewhere here, and I need to find where, because that, this, mm -mm, this cannot continue, if I'm going to be mining. You know what, it's fine, let's just do this one. Okay, we've got a pottery shed. Check it out my way. Oop, I'm going to have to bleep that. Alright, this pottery shed is a plenty. Okay, let's get to the, like, oh my god, there's so many. Oh, I can't even use my bow. Alright, let's just go around murder. Okay. With all of those guys dead, we must will be a lot freer to explore now. So let's have a look around here. What is in this one? A golden nugget. So I believe we have three ocean ruins to find, or three sherds from cold ocean ruins to find. Let's get started on that, I guess. So got wheat from that one, more wheat from this one. Oh, there is an underwater uh, ruin portal. That's actually kind of cool. Right, what are we getting from this one? That is another plenty pottery shirt. Is this one going to be coal. Amazing. Okay, we've got another pottery shirt. That looks new. That looks new to me. Uh, what, uh, uh sand. All right, so we've got the explorer pottery shirt. Okay, golden nugget. Ah, oh, yes, wooden hoe. Amazing. Oh, okay, pottery shirt. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that is a new one. That is the mourner pottery shirt. Okay, that's good. That's good. That means we only have one more from these ones, which is the blade shard. All right, here we go. We've got another pottery shard. To me, it looks like a duplicate. Yeah, it was. It was another plenty, I think. Okay, we've got a shard. It just looks like the mourner one again. I think it was. Yes, it was. Okay. All right, I reckon that's everything from here because I've had another quick look around. Um. So yeah, let's. I. I I'm just gonna start moving on. Do I want any of that stuff? No. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna move on now. To the next place. Alright, I found an ocean monument. Ah, I'm being attacked. Um. Oh god, okay. We gotta swim for a second to get away from this. But. Um. I'm thinking we just fight it. Because we, we need to try and kill the Elder Guardians for the stuff anyway. So let's put on our chest plate. And let's just go in here. I, mm, I'm concerned because I haven't got mining fatigue yet. But I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Here you are. Hi. 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 Uh, bye. Did you give me what I want? <gasps> there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Get rid of that. <sighs> yes. We got the tied armor trim. That's really, really good. Um, And I also want your head, sir. No, not the prismarine. I want your head. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Well, I don't actually need to go and kill the other ones because um, I only need one of them. So, bye, I guess. All right. Oh, I forgot to put my elytra on. Onwards and upwards. Here. Okay. We found a trial ruin. We are saved. Okay. Okay. Just slowly. Unfortunately, it is waterlogged. That is annoying. But we just have to slowly, like, dig it out. Okay. 
We've got some. We've got some. We've got something. Ow, I just poked myself in the eyeball trying to itch it. It was dye. Great. Alright, what have we got here? A candle. Brilliant. Real great stuff we're getting here. Okay, we've got a shard. Or a shard. Whatever they're called. Alright. Um. Get rid of the dirt. No, I just picked up gravel. We got the sheath. Sheath? Shelf. Seath. Seath. Sheaf. Sheaf? Oh, we got our first smithing template from this place. Yay. Okay. We have got ourselves one of four. We got the shaper armor trim. Okay, okay. Is this going to be another shaper or is this going to be a different one? It looks like a different one. It is. Okay. We have two of the four templates down. So we have the razor and the shaper. Okay, okay. All right, you know what? I'm just going to finish excavating this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so coming out of that, we've got quite a few things. I ended up just, like, I've just been throwing away uh, most of the stuff that isn't uh, shards or smithing templates. Because I don't really want it. That is... Oh, wow, that's really unfortunate, isn't it? Anyway, so in terms of shards, this is all of the ones we have so far. And these are all of the templates we have. And we found all of the templates from this one... Uh, ruin, luckily, that we needed. And we found all of the... We didn't find all of the shards. Like, with the shards, I think are going to be a bit of a different story. I don't think we're going to focus on them too heavily right now. Um, I'll do them a little bit later. So, I believe the trail ruins mark the last... Like, the only... Well, I think it's the only area really needed to go in terms of archaeology. Um for the smithing templates. And right now, these are my first priority. So, the next thing we are going to do is we have a couple options. Either we can go to an ancient city or we can go to the pillager outpost and Woodland mansions. I think, I think we should go to the Pillager Outpost and Woodland Mansions. Actually, no, I don't think that because that means for the Woodland Mansion I have to get a map and that means I have to get a cartographer. So maybe we don't do that one actually. We are going to go find an ancient city. That's going to be really fun for me. Anyway, oh, I'll be back once I've found one of those. Yes, we found one. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. I need to destroy that tree because it's like the first thing we do though. Um, how do I get down there without setting anything off? That's the question. Oh. Okay, it didn't count as me doing anything. It's fine. Is there, like, any wool or anything nearby? Because, I mean, thinking back, I probably should have brought some wool, but it's fine. You know, if we just, like, very delicately fly, it's fine. Okay. So, the first thing is, we kind of... Uh, I set up a shrieker already. <laughs> I wanted to avoid this. So desperately. I really should have brought wool with me. Is what I'm realising now. But we can destroy that shrieker. There was another one. Let's get rid of you while... Yep. It's fine. We already have two strikes. It's fine. I already know that there's probably going to be... A lot of wardens that spawn. But luckily, we already have Swift Sneak, so it makes it a little bit nicer to traverse this place. Oh, hey! Um, I found it. I found the silence trim. I, this is like the last city in my little cluster. Um, so that's really lucky. Honestly, you know what? You can kill me. You can kill me, bro. 
Okay. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I don't have my electron again. It's fine. Oh my god. Okay. We did it. 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 We didn't. I'm so happy. Let me grab the rest of my armor trims out. Okay. 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 I did get a donation of a uh, netherite trim from Rathstar and a snout trim as well. But let me get my little list up because we're going to order in the order my list is in so it's easier to see. So we have the two I'm missing. Uh, and it's this one, it's this one. Then we have June. Then we have Ward. Then we have Silence. Then we have Snout. Then we have Rib. Then we have Eye. And then we have Spire. And we have these ones. And this one as well. Okay. So... We've got most of them. We only have the eye and the, oh sorry, the spire, and then we have the one from the woodland mansion and the one from the pillager outpost left. So, the next step in our little quest here, I'm, I'm probably going to leave the one in the end for last because it's just going to be a lot of flying for me. So, what we need to do is we need to set up a cartographer. So let me go and uh, we are at Le Woodland Amation. Now I can't actually remember how you get this trim. I can't remember if it's like from chests or if it's from like the other thing, uh, like killing people. Ow, you hurt, sir. Um. So it's gonna be a learning experience. Jesus, that was a jump scare. I don't appreciate jump scares, sirs. Okay. All right. Here we have our first chest. Easy. Vex armor trim. Done. Got him. Easy. No concerns. That was honestly, I think, one of the easiest trims we've had thus far. Um. Honestly though, honestly, I think we loot this place. I think we go and I think we loot it. And I think we have some fun while we're at it. Because that's always so fun. You know? Having some fun is fun. It's a shocker how that one works, isn't it? Okay. We're here at a pill pillager outpost. <laughs> and it is time to test our luck. See if we... Ooh, my elytra is nearly dead. And see if we have gotten our trims. There we go. Easy. And we also got a goat horn. What does this one sound like? Oh. In interesting. Anyway. Alay's in the cage. How sad. Alright, well. Time to head on back home, I guess. Now, with the century trim finally acquired, that means we have to go and get the last one, which is the one from the entities, which means I have to go end busting again. Now, I do want to point out what I'm happy about with this is that most of these we have two for. There's only a couple we don't have two for, but the ones that we have three for pretty much make up for that, which is nice. Um, but I still don't think my 200, 263, I think that is, diamonds are going to cut it. So that's going to be great, especially because we're also going to need netherite upgrades. I've just had the realization I need like seven stacks of diamonds for the netherite upgrades alone. It's fine. Everything will be fine. I'll get them. Easily. I'm just gonna have to go mining for three years. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's all fine. Everything's perfectly fine. Anyway, it is time to go end busting. Okay, I am back from the end. I completely forgot to like, you know, hit the record button because, yep, that's, I do it all the time at this point. 
Anyway, so, if we grab out our little chest here, we can grab all of these, and we can grab all of these here. Now, we are actually going to need to have five of each, because I want to keep one template spare for each one. I just realized as well, I'm also going to need the block type for each one. Uh, completely forgot about that fact. Um... And I didn't grab any purple blocks for the spire trims. So, let me go do that. I'll give you back in a second. Okay, I am back. And this time, with all of the different things. That's good. So, I am going to keep one of each armor trim. I think I've said this already. But we are going to start from this side and slowly make our way over with our diamonds. Now... We're not going to have enough diamonds. I am fully aware of this already. Uh, but hey, that's okay, you know. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to have to be diamond mining for five years. No. Never, ever, ever. And then I uh, think. I need year. I need one more. There we go. I don't need to think about it because I got the right amount of blocks. But anyway, so let's just like speed through crafting these. Okay, we have done what we can with five diamonds remaining. <laughs> oh, God. Um, right, well, let's think, let's, let's math how many more diamonds we need for this specifically. So we need two more for this one here. Then we need 21. Then we need 28. So let me get my calculator up because I'm really bad at maths. So, 2 plus 21 plus 28 plus 51. I need 51 more diamonds uh, for that. So it's not too bad. But what's bad, what is bad, is the fact that, where is it? Here. I only have four of these. I need 64. Like, I, that's like seven-ish stacks of diamonds. I'm actually going to do the exact maths on that. So I need 51. Oh, no, that's open for messages. Uh, so we need 51 plus seven times 60, 420. Nice. Um, let me get to doing that. I'll be back soon, once I've done the strip mining. Okay, I have spent a decent amount of time mining. Um, and we have all the diamonds we need, and more, I think, probably, who knows. Anyway, so let's grab all of these up here. And actually, just craft them all up. Like that. You know, it's very nice to finally... Very nice to finally get this project, you know, properly going and almost done. Because it's taken a good, good while. And boom, we have all of them just like that. Um, the next thing we do have to do, though, is duplicate all of these ones here. So we're going to have to grab, like, 60 netherrack. Then use pretty much all of these diamonds. 
Um, this is pain. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. All right, well, I have a, a whole 21 diamonds to my name. Yep. So, I... I yeah, now, now, now we have to go mining for the actual, um, netherite. So, okay, I guess it's time for me to grab my TNT out. And for the netherite mining, I think we will do a little montage. I was going to do a montage with diamonds, but I forgot to do that. But I think for the netherite, we're going to do a little montage of every time I mine some. So let's get straight to it now. Okay, so I managed to get ourselves all of the ancient debris. I didn't end up finishing all the montages because I left and came back, so, you know. Uh, but that's fine. So we've got all of our ancient debris now. We've got all of our netherite upgrades and we've got all of our smithing templates. So, we unfortunately need to cook all of this ancient debris, even as nice it is, as it is to see those four stacks as they are. We do need, I, I swear to God, if I don't have enough gold, I'm not going to have enough gold, am I? No, I'm going to have enough gold. So we need three. Boom. All right. So we'll go put this in our super, uh, not, uh, the, uh. my English really isn't Englishing today. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to go put this in here. Sorry. Put all of those in there. I'm put those in there. Um... And then the other another thing that we're gonna actually have to do, which I kind of forgot about a little bit, is trade for all the armor. Now, I do have an armor here. However, there is a slight problem with this. I also have realized I'm gonna need a lot of shulker boxes for this. Uh but there is a slight problem in the sense of this guy's gonna sell out pretty quickly. I think we'll have enough emeralds, but the selling out is what concerns me. So I just grab a couple of stacks to start. And we'll see, let's see how many we can get in one go. So we can get three, three of each. This is, this is going to take, this is going to take me a minute. I am also going to make sure they are all unenchanted because I prefer no enchantment glint on them with the armors. I think it looks cooler. And if we want an enchantment, we can chuck some on. We can chuck some on, I'm sure. Anyway, so there. Let me go through the process of this. I'm going to need, like, a light. So, yeah. I will be back once all that is done. Okay. So, I've got absolutely everything we're going to need, I think. So, the next thing is to turn... All of this gold and all of this netherite scrap into all of these ingots. Look at this. We're rich. Actually, I don't want to do that in case they despawn. Quick, pick them, pick them all back up. Okay. So, next up is just a whole lot of change in this into netherite. Um, I didn't think about how long this bit was also going to take. It's fine. It's fine. One one shulker box at a time. At a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a really quick sped up version of this as we change all of these over. So let's do that right now.
I've just realized I've made a really stupid mistake. I don't need this many. I need 16 of each. Oh no. Welp. I have to go get some more netherite and some more diamonds. I'll be back soon. Okay. I have recovered from my mistakes mentally and literally. I've got the stuff back. So let's go back to turning <laughs> all of our stuff into netherite. And yes, I have fixed it up. We only have 16 of each thing now. And we have just a ton of extra diamond, like diamond armor and a absurd amount of netherite helmets. I'm sure we can do something with it eventually. Anyway, let's get to this little thing. to the leggings. And finally, let's do our boots. Here we have the last piece of armor done. That is a lot of netherite. That was like a couple weeks of my life just done, just like that, you know. It's fine. Okay, next up, it is time to do all of our armor trims. Now, for the armor trims, I have chosen amethyst, and I have all this amethyst here that I have prepared earlier. Actually, do we want to do amethyst? Hold on. Hold on a second. What does amethyst look like? I think we actually want to use the chest plate. The chest plate will give us a better look at what it looks like on there. Um, boom, boom, boom. I mean, the amethyst works okay, but I feel like there's like, like there's like a cooler thing we could use. Like, um, uh, um, how does redstone look, you know? Mm. I need one of these again. Redstone's okay. None of them, none, no, they're not really like hitting the spot. What about, what about the green? What about the emerald? What about that? How's that gonna look for us? Again, it's okay. It's not really what I want though. Um, I mean, we could do diamond. I have extra diamonds. So maybe that will work. Honestly, I think that looks the best. I think I think that's what we're gonna do. All right. Well, um, I guess then rather than doing this straight away, I have to go mine a stack of diamonds. So I will be back very very soon. Okay, I have managed to acquire les diamonds. So now let's go through and actually upgrade all of these here. We're gonna do it. One armor set at a time. Starting with the sentry armor trim. Do I remember what this one looks like? No. Um, it's fine. All right, hold on. I have to take off my armor. Yeah, you know, we have to. We have to have a look at these. It's okay. It's not. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, I'm not going to go through and rank all of these right now, but we will do that later down the line. However, right now we're just going to speed through getting all of these made up. And I'm also going to put my chest plate in here so I don't accidentally change it. Okay, let's go through and change all of these things over now.
Alright, now I have left what is easily the best trim for Lost. Or not the best, but like, I think the coolest looking. Which is the... Oh, that was aggressive. Um, which is the silenced trim. No, is that silenced? Yeah, it is silenced. Okay. Like, come on. Let's just, like, put this on really quickly. Like, this has to be one of the coolest. Like, the colours, like... It's so cool. Anyway, so now we have all of our armors. We can get to work on building the big old building in the next episode. Because I think that, that will be it for this episode. Um, we also, we forgot to get all the shards. We'll do that in the next one. I really need to make this building pretty soon because it's getting bad. Um, and yeah, we have all of our leftover stuff there and it'll be all fun and cool. In the next episode, we'll put them all on armor stands, do all of that stuff, and I'll, I'll probably tell you guys what I think of all of them. But anyway, uh, the other thing is, is I want to make this hall decently big as well because I have a way of getting some really cool custom armors into the game and I think it might be fun to just display some made ones there as well. So anyway, I'm going to get to work on building this all up now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you want to see the rest of the Unknown SMP series, subscribe. And in fact, if you want to see the second part of this and the actual build to go with it, then also subscribe. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.